Uh, my name is Logan J. Morrison. Uh, I'm here as the co-best man. The co part was a promotion. Um, I was just an entry-level groomsman uh, before, but after hearing the terms of the offer, more speaking, more planning, more expenses, uh, all with a 0% pay increase, how could I turn it down? Uh, like Bill, um, our stories are, are very similar. I've known Conrad uh, since grade 10. Uh, we spent almost every day together through high school. We had classes together. We hung out on weekends. Um, with the time that Con spent at my house, uh, he single-handedly kept pogos in business. I remember I walked into the homeroom. I was seated right in the middle, and I sat down hunting, looking for a friend, because I did not know anybody there. I was watching, and as soon as I saw her walk in that day, she was wearing jeans, a nice top, beautiful curly hair, and the grumpiest face I have ever seen on a middle schooler. And I went, oh yeah, I want that one. <laughs> Melanie has always said that the guy she will marry would have to, well, yeah, my guess, will have to enjoy being with her parents, get along with her brothers, and hang out with her grandparents. And that's what you did. Not only did you fit right in, but you also included us in your little family. This is not a welcome to our family because we always considered you and Ava as already part of our family. With that, I will wrap up with some words of advice that I have learned in my limited years of being married. First one, happy wife, happy life. The, cap the couple that laughs together stays together. Never laugh at your spouse's choices. You're one of them. <laughs> Marriage lets you annoy that one special person for the rest of your life. If you don't succeed, Conrad, try doing it the way Mel tells you. Pay more attention to your spouse than your phone. Back rubs can fix anything. And never give up on each other. Today, I am proud to finally call myself your husband. Today is the beginning of our forever. Forever hugs, forever kisses, forever love, forever together as one. My heart, forever your home, in your heart mine. Today is where in the story of our lives they will write and they lived happily ever after. I know that I have been blessed with true love because today I get to say that to a mammeyachem, my best friend, to a moamser, my soulmate, and to a mathem, my wife, je t'aime. Conrad, today is the continuation of our relationship. Together we have learned to communicate. We have supported each other, we have found understanding, compassion, and most of all, an incredible love for each other. Together, we have smoothed away some rough edges to truly fit together perfectly. I love what I know of you, and I am trusting what I don't know yet. I don't know what adventures we are facing, but I give you my hand, and I give you my heart. Conrad, I give you my whole self. I choose you and promise to keep choosing you as my husband, as my partner, and as my person. Ava, I also promise to remind you every single day how truly loved you are. I promise to teach, guide, and respect you. I may not have been there in the very beginning, but I will always be there for you in the future. I love you, my girl. I love you, Bubba.
Mel and Conrad, tonight we celebrate you. We all wish you a lifetime of happiness, love, success, laughter. May you continue to find humor in the bad and appreciate the good. I hope the rest of your life is as wonderful as you deserve, and you deserve only the very best. Melanie and Conrad, stay true to your moral compasses. Be each other's beacon on stormy days. May your friendship continue to grow throughout all the years to come. A toast to the bride and groom. For the couple who can embrace each other's passions and keep things electrifying, I wish you both and sweet Ava a wonderful life together. Melancholy.